I tell you, I am exposed to <laughs> a lot of DJs. So me being impressed by DJs. See, see, right, see, are we together? See, my huh? Sorry, sorry. You're watching your favorite show, favorite breakfast show with the latest breakfast show in this here town. And if you don't trust me, in fact, I, I, I strongly recommend you don't trust me. Just don't even take my word for it. Don't believe me. Watch Monday all the way to Friday. We are away in the morning. And you can find us at White Five on Facebook, White Five channel on Twitter, White to Five underscore channel on a degram white five four channel on youtube and a hashtag of the day is social friday we need to vow or valentine and i don't know i i, I don't know who to address it's june said kalin tomba but listen 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 if we're meeting for the first time around february i love who you ask me my name and i tell you it's valentine i'm not joking it's not a joke don't do it, okay? It's not, no, I'm tired. Nimeishi sana, and my name has remained Valentine, and all these years, I cannot, okay? Hashtag, <laughs> social Friday. So remember, we are asking you a question on our socials, and we're trying to figure out what is your favorite genge tone of the year. Now, the year is meanza to say, Around some time like this last year, we were enjoymenting uh, 2020 until uh, COVID-19 decided to disrupt us uh, the next month. But I, I feel hopeful. Yes, I'm very, very hopeful for today. And that is an actual song. So let me read your comments. If Utani allow, Utani allow, Nakamoja comment. But why are you being a silent viewer? Squad evil. Me text. Just DM. Don't be like that. Even if your hotel Regis is doing a great job, because I definitely think he's doing a great job. If you want to ask him for a request, please do it. And you know how to do it? At White Five on Facebook, White Five on channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Social Friday. All right. So get in into the comment section. Mm -hmm. Do I have my game face on? I really hope I have my game face on. Hey. How do you find energy to wake up this early? But thank you for doing it. <laughs> we are the man James, our star student. At his kataine, she kwa nyumba ya mabati. But mbono wa chemblango ubishe mabati. Baby. Kuna bibi kire ati, ah, sita katawa ni daktari na ni mzaluo. Lakini mbono wende ota na ambulance. Why? Shanice carries a story. Ah... Oh, oh, hi Shanice Carey. Happy Valentine's. I hope you're okay. I hope you're feeling loved today. Hashtag the social Friday. Kalale wa yuna ni kondani ni kiwa kitaleka mkunji tukupa moja na kote marafiki zangu. Dan, Patti, Simon, and my brongoma ya gingito ni meni nice ni sota. Hey, hi. Okay. Uh, Ronnie Boy says, Pewa. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Bwana mkunaji. Wow. Okay. Ah, eh, okay. Ndo mimi ni mekuja kama ngumi. Wow, ya Muhammad Ali. Mchezo, eh, eh, eh. Ana, okay, ii, ii, nipaka nisime pole pole nda nisitome. Atika, mbogi genji. Yeah, yeah it's, it's tongue twister. <laughs> I have to be cautious. That is one of Kunaji Kungunia Subukia. Ay, 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 I really like your handle. <laughs> That's it. Love you, Sana. Mimi akuna ngome many nice. Oh, don't worry. Wasani wana pika pika vitu. Don't worry. They will surprise you. Supu ya chapo. Kwa handle kama hizi na kosaje kwa penda. Kia supu ya chapo. Not well represented. Karis Mubaki, she says, tune. Karis Mubaki, Chris again, in and present. Iman James says, Aki, Aki, eh, Ati Aki, Shadu ya Jioni, na kuanga na mother rao. Imagine, imenda kwa mama mboga, kubai skuma wiki, alafoni, kaona kivuli yangu kwa bujari. Customer, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Captain Wiki says, all the way from Okwaro, Iko Tunin. DJ, Kanyagilia, break up or hapo, na story kuto... Okay, all right. I think I understand. Supo ya chapa nakuona, mutuati, merut, kondani. Tum, Amon says, Iko Safi sana, Shriko, late Nelson. Karaji says, well, well. Mori Musiok says, Ah, Empress says hi. Here in Rwanda, people are studious. Na fanya na zaneba, neba na fanya nini? Aki pigando ro asuboi. What is what is your neighbor doing? My spokesman says kaka mega tuned kama kawa. Kagwai ule moja sma kalale. Hmm, kalale ni atesia. 
Yeah, Willis. Near this year, just no, 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 no. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But Brian Kimutai says designy. Lizzo Mwanawa eh, Nanguri says turned. <laughs> Kalale Wayuna says Nikondani kiwa kitaleka mkunji shwe on fire. Raspashir Web says watching. Super Chapo and Mekwana Bado Bramwell Boke says CBD following. Thomas Hamisi says locked. Eh, ro, eh cubed he says locked pamoja well represented super tapo once again ah janet hi it's good to zimeni nice watching from waitavia kiambo county so remember we are asking you what is the gengeton song that has touched your heart this year and this year has barely has 90 days into it so eh, i think we may to lengo mampia mpia but if not you are not being bombarded by a song for proverbs i think maybe we should be patient no that hashtag is still social friday but we have a couple of guests in studio and please allow me to allow them to introduce themselves yes yes okay hi guys hey you guys look okay. amazing Thank you, really Allow time. me to, to start with the uh, Queen because they yes, say ladies, ladies first. first. Shode, well, you have stopped traffic. I'm sure there's an accident that has happened today because of this. Indio, just tell the truth. It's okay. You don't have to be modest here. Mm, it's a safe space. <laughs> What's your name? Maybe, look at you. <laughs> hey, confess. She looks, she looks amazing. amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. I'm Karma Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I do marketing and sales mm -hmm. and model part time. Marketing and sales? Yeah. Munakanga Ivi. Marketing and sales. <laughs> oh. hey, I think I chose the wrong degree, guys. The wrong one. <laughs> Please tell us how to find you on social media. Okay, um all my platforms, Karma Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Karma underscore Tatiana. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we saw you in a video somewhere, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so please introduce yourself. I'm Tony Sande. Mm -hmm. um, I do uh, TikTok videos. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm a, you know, people say, are you a TikToker? No, I'm not a TikToker. I just do TikTok videos. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can find me on uh, Tony S. Kenya on TikTok mm -hmm. and Tony S. Kenya on Instagram and Facebook. Um, uh, on my personal life, I do advertising, mm -hmm. outdoor advertising on the small scale. And uh, apart from that, mm -hmm. I love Y254. Hey, <laughs> yeah, well, fuck my foot. Uh, yeah. We are not dying to die of this. Okay, <laughs> by TikTok DJ videos, after. do you mean the Jason Derulo ones? Okay. I'm a hapo too. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I, I don't really do uh, much of the but I'm known for balloon videos on TikTok Ooh. in Kenya. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's hashtag uh, balloon popper on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So, Tony is Kenya is the, the guy who pops balloons. So, if you ask anyone, have you seen the guy who pops balloons? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Tony S. Kenya, that's me. I am going to have so much fun asking you questions, but, but let's We're just here. put it a little bit there and then, then get back to yes. you shortly. First of all, you have featured in a video that is quite recent, and I, I really like that song, just, just by the way, just <coughs> by the way, yes, yeah. So how is that, how is that working with the, the industry, the music industry as a vixen? Do you get backlash, do you, what kind of, I want to ask what kind of feedback you get, but it's not really feedback, do you get support, do you, do you get backlash, what's happening there? Um, so far, it has been tough journey. Since um, I started, my journey started in 2016, yeah, that's when I did my first video. So since then I've done a couple, it has been tough, but uh, so far um, I have support from my family and my friends, and that's what oh, matters. Oh, you don't have to fire on TV. No, at first. You don't have to fire on TV, but you don't have to fire on TV, but you don't have to fire on TV. At first my mom was, um, was a bit... You know, she's um, concerned. Yeah, she's religious. She's concerned. Mm -hmm. So by by time, I was like, it's just dressed like that in the videos. I don't go walking around like that. Was something to just in front of the camera. So yeah, no, she's like, okay, you're a big girl. You know what you're doing. As long as you don't embarrass me, she's fine. Okay, you sound so sweet. <laughs> I have a video on the phone, I said to you, okay, but it's what I should do, so I don't think we can play the song, but see, you sound like you're on the phone. Thank you. How do you balance being a creative in, on this side and then sales and marketing? Do they complement each other or are you two different people? Mm -hmm. Like, stuck, part of Kivaivi, okay, and a job, sales and marketing or something? No, I think uh, they're like, not 
that different because you know when it comes to marketing and sales you have to uh, talk to people you have to that's where I think that's where I really got my confidence from oh so yeah from marketing and sales because I could talk to people different kinds of people different characters personalities so that's where I got my confidence to do modeling because you know if I have I can talk to different people different personalities I can be in front of a camera like you know just be me there's once I did a feature, it was behind the scenes for a particular video. So we went to, okay, I will be vague with the details because it was a long time ago. And by long I mean to go to 2021, so I want to say 2019 of sorts. And I, I had the opportunity to see behind the scenes of a particular video being shot. It was part of for upper quarter of job. And we were trying to interact with the model on the job, but she could not speak for days. I, I was trying, like, mommy, please, just, just talk to us. Like, tell us how you're feeling, like, what's going on here, what's your experience, what do you do when you're not doing this? And she was just giving me plans, like, ah, like, I'm tired. So I thought in my head, like, that's it for all victims. Like, just look, but look at you. So, you know, affluent and, and you're, you're talking and, and it's, it's, it's communication going on. So when did you get that or it's still linked to the sales and marketing job? No, um, personally, I'm not, I think I'm very talkative mm -hmm. if I know you, mm -hmm. but rather that you have to, like we have to say it, we have to, you have to indulge me into a conversation. But uh, apart from that, I really love dancing. So I think most of the confidence too comes from dancing. So when I dance, dance. <laughs> yeah, you're in luck. He's a bad DJ, and by bad I mean mad, and by mad I mean really good. But not really a but that's a topic for another day. Let me come back to you, kind sir. Tell me about all this balloon popping. Mm -hmm. um, actually, the idea came in uh, when I first joined Tito, and um, uh, that is when now the pandemic came in, and now we had to stay at home. The bees went down, so. Mm -hmm thinking what can I do then can uh, you see you guys doing videos and then you think what can I do outside the box you know on TikTok right now like everybody can dance I can't dance she can dance, she can dance. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> then um, uh, you see others uh, people making uh, makeup videos I can do makeup so I'm like what can I do that can really make me pop out uh, then I, 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 okay, it was my birthday, uh, March, actually, 29th, no, by then, oh, um, <laughs> not today. <laughs> Pre-birthday. Yeah, it was pre, yeah, okay. but then March. So, uh, the balloons come about and I make a small video with balloons and from there I start to develop more. So, I get attached to balloons, so I get start making balloon videos and, uh, with one video after the other, I tend to get a lot of nice feedback. I get a lot of views and views uh, go on and go on. So I tend to become more creative with the balloons. So I started just popping balloons, uh, you know, blowing air in them and doing something and popping, you know, making the sound and just getting a reaction from people. Then later I started to make uh, lyrics to songs uh, on the balloons. Yeah. No. I don't sing. I I make I, I make lyrics uh, on on trending songs. Yeah, yeah, the trending songs that are catchy. Mm -hmm. So I would write uh, um, the lyrics on uh, say on tape and paste them on the balloons and fill the balloons with water and pop them. You know, as the song sings, you sing the lyrics and you pop the balloons, and the you know the water splashes and it's satisfying. Mostly because it's colorful. I, I really like colors. Yeah, yeah it's so colorful. Yeah. Well, you how did you get that idea? Um, there's somebody, uh, I saw it from also someone, uh, I think he's from the UK. He does it. Um, and actually, I think on, on like the whole of TikTok, I've only seen like um, three people doing the same thing. So yeah, I would say I'm the third one, mm -mm. but still doing well. Look in at Kenya, you yeah. being unique. So, mm -hmm. Yes. So I think that one... Uh, is what I tended to to like more about it because mm. you get a, a lot of good feedback. Though there's still people will be like, ah, oh, you're wasting water. You know, this is Kenya, there's no water. <laughs> I'd be like, come on. <laughs> yeah. I want to laugh, but it's serious. But I want to laugh. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, when you're using like uh, the dye, you know, it's not a must that you use tap water or anything. You can recycle water and stuff. Ah, that's smart. Yeah, true. 
environmental friendly tick, yeah. entertaining tick, tick yes. very satisfying tick. tick. Okay, yeah. so I want to Do ask I still you. Like, I, I still try to dance too, yeah. And as much as Don't I Don't make me make you dance. <laughs> no, I won't She dance. will teach us. Yeah, she will teach us. We are to mercy, yes. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, don't be modest. This is not the place to be modest. Apa, by the way, unafaku ringa yako yote, okay? Ringa, angusha, CV, do everything to the utmost. Now, I'm going to ask you both a very specific question. And I'll start because I'd like being honest. So, I have a cyber bully today. And the cyber bully has the name of Shanice Carey. Na amesama nikona kirere sana. <laughs> and the joke is on you, Shore, because it's true. Like in real life, like Nikona Kirere, and sometimes it gets me into a little bit of trouble, <laughs> but mostly it works for me. So, do you have people who come up and tell you, ah, your content ain't all that, it ain't all that, or or they just, you know, like Zanini Kuna Mojaka, there'd be like 10,000 likes, then 12 dislikes. So, do, do you get some type of reactions like that, and how do you deal with it? Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes you know the people are like, oh, I don't like how, how, so if a, for example, if I've appeared on a video, somebody's going to be like, I don't like the model. She doesn't um, coordinate well with the song. Yeah, I do get some of that, but um, I mean, I'm just doing what I love, and for me, nobody can tell me I'm not doing whatever I'm doing right because I believe I'm doing it the right way, and I'm enjoying myself. That the best thing is that I'm enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you handle it the first time someone um, just randomly? And, and I, I say, I'm asking only because it has personally taken me a long time to find my path, like to find what I love to do and just stick with it and go. So being sure of myself came a bit later than maybe most people. Mm -hmm. So the first time I had, you know, backlash or Shanice Kerry type, Cyber bullies. Hi, every cyber bully. Oh my gosh, we still appreciate you. <laughs> Hashtag social Friday. Yeah, it, it was not really shocking, but I was like, okay, so me to copy. And, and why are you all up in my business? I'm just trying to mind my own. So why are you here? But eventually i came to realize it it comes with the turf when you put yourself out mm -hmm. there when you're in the public eye definitely someone is going to have an opinion whether they know you or not whether they've met you or not whether they actually understand what you're doing or that you love what you're doing or not they're still going to have something to say so how was the first reaction and i'm only asking because there are out people out there maybe who want to be like you they want to okay. be models they want to be in front of the camera they want to be on videos they want to look good they want to dress well but they're kind of afraid of how people will think of them or what they'll say so how did you handle that uh, for me like um i don't they really don't know me they just see me so i don't think they have they, they have no idea what i've been through and why i'm doing what i'm doing so i was just like i don't care they don't know me so for me it was just like i just ignored everything and as long as i'm enjoying myself i'm doing the best that i can i'll just ignore them hmm. yeah because there's people are always going to criticize people are always going to judge you but if somebody hasn't walked a mile in your shoe what do they know hmm. nothing thank you so sweet thank you. your heart <laughs> just sounds big Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I want to ask you the same question, but with a curve. We were talking about body shaming on Tuesday evening on a different show completely. And funny thing is, I always imagined that body shaming was a thing for girls, you know? Oh, you're too small. Oh, you're too big. Oh, you're too big in the wrong places. Oh, you're too small in the wrong places. Like it's, it's just exhausting. Oh, you're not tall enough. Oh, you're not light enough. Oh, you're not dark enough. Oh, your eyes not big enough. Oh, your hair. Oh, CG, what, what, whom, where, your nails. Ah, yeah. So many expectations. Like, you can't just wake up and feel good without somebody making noise. But it turns out that it's a guy thing, too. Like, oh, unandevu. Oh, unang. Nona rejizia kunandevu. He's not worried. He's okay. But kunanya kuna baby face. Oh, why? Mbono unandevu. It's ji ukidit monomwe. Hanandevu ni like what in the world like ah if you light skin when you dim Allah I just asked what are all these so are these things that you face when you're doing what you do you're not even exposing yourself in in the sort of way that maybe modeling or music videos or other genres you know ask for but you are just being yourself you're doing challenges with balloons but still people will have something to say so do you have you ever experienced that um yeah it's social media and uh, keyboard warriors. as long as you put yourself out there, mm -hmm. there will always be somebody 
behind your back. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, at first some some people will be like, oh, your hair is too shaggy, and I can use it. You're like, I'm just being me, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't know where I am, where I live or anything, but you still have to say something negative. But uh, how I deal with it is, okay, sometimes you just, actually, when I read the comments, I laugh it. I laugh out loud. Mm -hmm. I just laugh at them. It's lolling. Actually, it's just lolling. <laughs> and uh, it's, I, actually, it's also, uh, when you laugh at it, you don't even think about it. Like, it's just funny that way. I'm like, ah, maybe he's just talking. He's just saying to you. He, he's in that serious. Because mm, uh, until now, I haven't really faced uh, something that is, say, too serious to to warrant, like, uh, me feeling low or, like, feeling bad about myself. No, can't. Uh, it has never reached. And I can't allow myself to feel like that. And uh, if I feel like maybe sometimes um, maybe somebody's going overboard, you know, just block them. And that is if you have all that time to go through the comments. Because sometimes you can post a video and find, like, you have, like, uh, say, 500 comments. Who will read all those comments sometimes? Because <laughs> you also want to do other stuff. You mm -hmm. want, like, say, for me, making a balloon video, it will take me, like, at least six to ten minutes. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you have to fill them, do all this, do all that. That's my precious time. So I'd rather do that rather than go all through this. Mm -hmm. And as much as there's that, there's also, you know... Uh, in as much you, you 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 also have your your following yeah right so they'll be behind your back and they'll hit on those shamers and those negative commenters like real going to be like wow all these people are on my back that's you're a like, good feeling you know, yeah it's such a good feeling you're like yeah 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 and you take time to you know check their profile be like oh if i meet this person i'll be like yeah this is a good thing you're doing when you post your videos or when you post your content, yeah. are you, or is it a must just because it's social media? Are you forever on your phone? Like f you posted, then five <laughs> seconds later, how many people are viewed? Okay. Wow. Dog, dog, ten people are viewed. <coughs> Why are they not viewing? Is something wrong with my phone? Okay, you put it down. Is, is it is it pressure? Is um, initially, yeah, I had that pressure, mm -hmm. and even when I started, I used to even actually have the worst uh, internet, worst Wi-Fi. I would post, it will take like forever to load, Ooh. 70, 71, Whoa. 72 percent. <laughs> but like, when will you reach 100 percent, you know? <laughs> and then now it's 100 posted, you're like, okay, now, what next? What next? You know, mm -hmm. I used to have that anticipation mm -hmm. much. But then uh, something good happened. Um, I was verified on TikTok. I was like, you know, like somebody out there has noticed that you're doing something good and mm -hmm. why let us give you this blue tick, you know? blue tick baby so <laughs> <laughs> so um i with all that you start to get you know the positive reaction so you don't really uh you don't really focus on the on the video itself you know uh post it and just leave the phone there go do your stuff mm -hmm. you know read work mm -hmm. come back later oh you're all over this, you know. That's the message. Like, <gasps> yeah. yes, all of you people. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I like that. Okay. I want to ask you, is it, do you feel pressure to outdo yourself for every gig that you do? This is, I'm focusing maybe on your modeling career when you're in front of the camera. Do you feel like you have pressure to outdo yourself? Like maybe a video in Metada just, uh, just a few minutes ago, you did it this way. And then you maybe maybe I should have done it this way. Maybe I should have done this. Maybe I should have done this. Okay, I'll correct it. And then come another video, and then you know you up your game, but you still I need to do this. I need to add on this. Does that happen to you? Mm -hmm. I said I love dancing and I love being in front of a camera, so it just come naturally to me. So I never have any pressures um, for for every work that I do. Talanta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for every work that I do, I just look and I'm like, wow, I did my best. Because when I'm like in a video, as long as I listen to the song, I I know how I'm gonna act, how it's gonna flow. So I just go with the flow. So I've never had any pressure. I just believe that um, whatever video, all, all the videos I've done, I've done to my best. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. That's that's very. You see, there's some attitudes we should adopt, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you see, now she doesn't lose sleep. 
<laughs> she sleeps well, she wakes up okay. Whether you like it or not, she is fine, okay? Do you remember how to get to us? It's at White Five on Facebook, White Two Five Four channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Social Friday. And I told you, and I can promise you, full, real, legit, we are the latest breakfast show in town. But I told you, don't trust me. Just keep watching. Monday all the way through Friday, 7 all the way through 10 in the a.m. What would you tell someone who wants to do what you're doing mm -hmm. but i feel like there's an age where some things would affect someone a, a little bit more let's say if okay. if you're in your teen years puberty is hard let's just say adolescence is very hard it's just a lot just biologically but if there was someone who was going through all that but still wanted to do what you do would you encourage them to do so or would you tell them to just wait it out first so they grow a bit because this industry is not easy again and there are people who will take advantage you, of you number one because you look so good number two because, you know, you're, you're, okay, as i see you you're kind and you're very open so that people will definitely want to take advantage of you and if you didn't have support if you didn't have the support of maybe your family or your friends there's someone who probably would pretend to support you, but not on a Miyazaki. So, how would you approach that? Um, I would advise anyone who wants to do modeling and video vixen to be very open minded. Um, as much as you're going to be kind and don't let anybody take you for a fool, um, know what you want and be very principled. Yeah. And, and by principle, do you mean like I should have goals or mm -hmm. I should tell myself, okay, just because I'm an Edisha Stapiana, and you know, I'm just going to say it because it happens. It's, it's out there. You're going so far as to impregnate small, small girls in school. Ten-year-old has twins. So I am going to say it very openly. So is that, is that what you mean by principled? No, when I say principled, I mean like um, the industry is so huge and there's so many there's so many people, so many beautiful girls in the industry. So when you're principled, um, you don't, when it comes to like the modeling, you don't play around, you know, you believe you can do it better. And so nobody can come and tell you this and this. Me, for me, I believe if you do everything with your with all your heart and the best somebody is gonna like yeah I, I like what she does so you don't have to be easy and be like to get things because free things come easy and go easy but if you very work hard for it and you believe you do the best you're gonna get the best have yeah. you ever felt felt intimidated by other models when you mm -hmm. go maybe for auditions or for a gig? no 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 we should be friends <laughs> like your confidence is so intact like i like it yes yes okay tell me your favorite tiktoker right now and it's not you yeah i don't really have a favorite i just like uh i just like you know tiktok has a lot a lot of stuff i okay what i would say is that uh lately i tend to find myself liking a lot of uh baby videos, you know, cute baby videos or something, videos of having kids doing stuff, you know, just that. <laughs> but I really don't have a favorite. <laughs> I wouldn't say there's somebody I camp at on uh -huh. their profile, like Monday to Monday. What, what I'd say, since, you know, like, if you'd want to better yourself, you'd find yourself trying to explore and research what can I do more, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, I really do not have a favorite TikTok. Why TikTok? Why not Instagram? Why not Facebook? Why not Twitter? Why not CG? All these others that I will not mention because I <coughs> think they stand on murky ground. <laughs> but why not? Why TikTok? Um, I would ask myself the same question, why TikTok? But I would say um, I, I gained a, a fast track on TikTok. Like uh, with the first, let me say, 10 videos, I had almost like uh, 30,000 followers. And uh, this 30,000, it's not like, uh, it's just, uh, say, regional, like Kenya only. It's worldwide, you know, you get 30% from the US, 10% from the UK, from South Africa, you know, it's really spread. And um, I think I tend to like that most, and uh, it's, I find it more interactive, though definitely all the other social medias still okay. are the, the best. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's, it's just working for me. For, for me. Because you'd find others, Facebook is the thing, Instagram is the in thing, but for me it's just TikTok. And then uh, the growth rate was, uh, for me, was so fast, so that's why I'm still stuck to that. I have spent 
a lot of hours on TikTok. Had in corner, hey, up dangerous. I almost removed it from my phone. Yeah, hey. you know, the way you start hey. scrolling. Hey. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's take a musical break and give Reggie something to do because he... So I think we need to just get into his sauce. Okay.